do you struggle with trying to get your arm overhead or getting into other various shoulder positions? This video is gonna show you the top three exercises that I give my clients to improve their shoulder mobility. I'm Dr. Joey Seaforth, physical therapist, athletic trainer, strength conditioning specialist, and owner of Comeback Performance and Wellness. shoulder is a very complex joint because it's a ball and socket joint. As we can see here, this shoulder can move every different direction. It can go forward to the side, behind, across. So the whole idea behind these exercises are making sure that we can loosen the shoulder up so it's able to go through those motions but also be able to tolerate them. The first exercise is the wall slide. So many people struggle with getting their arm into that full shoulder flexion position. So this is a great place to start. You're gonna find a wall and you're gonna use just this part of your hands on the wall as you slide up. So let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna put one foot in front of the other, hands on the wall. I'm going to slide up and lean my chest forward, coming back down. One thing to note with this, guys, is you don't want to be forcing the motion. You don't want to be causing pain. Let the wall do the work, and you're just allowing your shoulder to work with it. So from the side, it's going to be right there. I'm going to relax, arms up the wall, leaning the chest forward, back down. I typically tell my clients to do this exercise every couple hours if their shoulder's feeling very stiff or to mix in 20 to 30 reps before they're putting a barbell or doing anything overhead. You can also do this one in the shower when the warm water's going on your shoulders and using the wall in the shower to do the same exact thing. The whole idea is teaching our shoulder blades to get into better positions so that as we raise our arm above our head, we're not having as much pinching or limited mobility. Next exercise is wall open books. We're going to be opening up our thoracic spine here so we're not cranking on our shoulder to get into those positions. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a half nail position on the wall just like this. This hip is going to be touching the wall. I'm going to have my hands together and I'm going to open up, follow my eyes with my hand as far as I can go and come back just like that. You don't want to be getting shoulder pain. You don't want to be causing cramping anywhere. If you are, you're pushing the movements and that's not what we want. Just nice and easy. Open up. Good. The more you do these exercises, the easier this motion is going to come. So don't push the movements. They will come with time. It's nice and easy. Good. The whole idea is we're trying to get rotation in our thoracic spine there to help open up the shoulder joint. Next exercise is shoulder swimmers. This is essentially what it looks like from behind. I'm here and I'm bringing my arms behind like this and then coming back like that. So we're making sure that our shoulder can get comfortable in this extended position, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your forehead on a towel and you're gonna relax your neck. As I get into this position, I'm gonna lift my arms straight up, bring them behind, and then back. The goal is to not touch your hands as you're transitioning. With this exercise, you're gonna be feeling a whole bunch of muscles getting engaged back there, and that is completely normal. If any of the motions are hurting, you want to stop before that motion, but you want to continue to keep doing the exercise. So if I'm getting pain at the top, as I come back this way, 
I'm stopping before that pain. I'm just limiting the range of motion a little bit, but you do still want to continue to keep moving and going through the exercises. Guys, as we bring all of this stuff together, we discussed earlier how the shoulder can move in every different direction, right? So the exercises that we're doing are backing that up by allowing us to go through those different motions. The wall slides are allowing us to get into that shoulder flexion. The open books are allowing us to get into that thoracic rotation to help open up the shoulder. And then the swimmers are moving us through all the other different directions. If you are having pain with an exercise, that does not necessarily mean that you should not be doing that exercise, but you need to be controlling the range of motion while you're still keeping it at a very low pain level or ideally pain free. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and please reach out in the comments for any future video you guys want, shoulder related or anything physical therapy. We're happy to help as much as we can. At Comeback Performance and Wellness, the comeback is always stronger than the setback.